All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is extremely important. If you have opened your Amazon seller account, there are a number of settings and preferences that you're gonna need to change, otherwise you're gonna have problems down the line. So I've just recorded a step-by-step -step video for this, for the course, so that's already been updated for the course for all course members to see. But because this is so important, I've also decided to release it for free as well. So this upcoming content is directly from the course. It's free for you guys, and hopefully it's gonna really help you set up your seller account the correct way. Once you have opened your Amazon seller account, there are a number of settings and preferences that you will want to change and review to prevent causing issues further down the line. So as soon as your Amazon seller account is open, I recommend you making the changes in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is to enroll in the new selection program. This is available to all new sellers and the benefits change all the time, but it's always worth enrolling in. It's completely free to enroll and the benefits can be anything from free storage fees, free removal fees, free delivery using the Amazon Partner Delivery Network and various other benefits. So it only takes a couple of clicks to sign up. It's completely free and there's always some benefit going. So make sure you do that. The next thing I want you to do is to go to your seller account information. So to get to many of the things in this video, you're gonna to go to the cog in the top right hand corner and you're gonna be choosing from these links here. So this one here is account info and this will bring you to this page. Now you've just opened your account and you've entered your payment details. However, those payment details are unlikely to be verified and there's probably gonna be a warning inside your account. So what I want you to do is to click on charge method here and this will bring you to this page where you can verify your payment method. Now the last time I opened an account a few months ago, I had to verify the charge method for every single marketplace even though I had no intention of using those marketplaces. So I had to do a one penny transaction on every single one of these. My credit card statement looked ridiculous having these eight one penny transactions, but it's what I had to do to get rid of all of the warning signs. So despite the fact you've added your payment details, when you signed up, you still need to go in and verify your charge method. So make sure you do that. The next thing I want you to do is to click on this one here, which is bank account information. So this is your deposit method. So this is how Amazon is going to pay you. So this needs to be verified as well. So you need to put in your bank details and go through the verification process. So two of the first things you need to do is verify your payment method and verify your deposit method. So you can pay for your fees, but you can also get paid for the sales that you make. The next thing I want you to do is to set your shop status and holiday settings. Now this is also available from the same page. So on here, go to go in on holidays. So click that link here and that will bring you through to this page. So you can see at the moment, I'm only active in the United Kingdom. And the reason we're doing this is we're trying to prevent Amazon from listing our products in other marketplaces and also allowing our products to be sent to these other marketplaces as well. Unless of course that's what you want to do, but many of us just want to sell in the UK to start with. And if you don't do this, what can happen is Amazon will start selling your products in other marketplaces, then you'll start getting returns to fulfillment centers all over Europe, which causes a lot of issues with fees and trying to get those returns sorted. So this is why we go through this process. Now to also ensure Amazon don't do this, I want you to go to the settings cog and go to fulfillment by Amazon. And then I want you to scroll down until you see, it's right near the very bottom. You've got here, shipping program and export settings. And for amazon.co.uk, I want you to make sure it is set to disabled. So it prevents Amazon doing any exports from the UK. And this will help prevent so many issues further down the line. Now, while you're on this fulfillment by Amazon page, if you scroll back up, there are two other sections I want you to focus on. You've got automated, unfulfillable settings. So this is when you receive a product return that Amazon cannot resell and also automated fulfillable settings. So you may want your returns to not be resold. That's my preference as well. I don't want Amazon to risk reselling any products they deem fit for purpose as we have different standards. So I try to get Amazon to return all of my returns to me or dispose of them. But despite these settings, sometimes or sort of say very often, Amazon completely ignore it and will try and refurbish and resell the majority of your returns. So the first one is automated unfulfillable settings. So when you click on edit, you will come to this page. 
And in here, you can choose what you want to happen with your returns. Now, my personal preference is for Amazon to dispose of them. In this particular account, it's currently set to return. But for my private label business, where I get a lot more returns than this, uh, this test account that I've got here, I get them disposed of as I used to get them returned to me, but my office was full with returns within the space of a couple of months. So now I just get Amazon to dispose of them for me. So you can set this up and you can choose whether you want it to be weekly, fortnightly, or once per month. How often you want Amazon to either return the returns to you or to dispose of the returns on your behalf. And you've also got other options here that you can go through, but I don't use any of those. So the automated fulfillable settings is very similar as well. So firstly, make sure it's enabled. So you're gonna tell Amazon you just don't want them to just resell these products straight away. You want them to either be returned to you or disposed of, and you've got the options there. And you populate your address details, and that's the same for unfulfillable as well. You populate where you want your returns to go, unless you choose disposals, of course. Now this next one is notifications and there are two things that you need to be aware of on this page. Now I'm gonna to have to blur out a load of this text as all it's doing is repeating my email and phone number all over the place. So this column here is gonna be quite blurry. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come down until you see emergency notifications and make sure this is enabled and set up with your telephone number. And the reason this is so important is if there is an emergency issue with your account, Amazon will often try and call you. If they can't reach you within 24 hours and it's an emergency, sometimes they will just suspend your account. So make sure your emergency notifications are set up. As for all these other notifications, you wanna go through and choose which ones you want to receive or not. So many of mine are still ticked. The ones that I do untick, I don't wanna receive all the notifications. You know, we do a lot of orders when we're selling on Amazon. So I untick this one, otherwise your inbox gets very full. So go through all of these and choose which notifications you wanna receive. Otherwise, Amazon will mess up your inbox. Now, this final one, I'll just say final two go hand in hand. And this is your automatic business invoicing and your VAT exemption. So let me explain. As a new seller on Amazon, you need to declare your VAT exemption. Otherwise, Amazon will charge VAT on the fees that they charge you. Now, as they are invoicing you from the EU, from Luxembourg, they should not be charging VAT on those fees. So this is why we need to declare the VAT exemption status. And the automatic business invoicing is to do with the IDR, which is the invoice defect rate. So any business customers that buy your product need to be provided with an invoice within 24 hours. And if you don't do that, then you're gonna have issues with IDR. And if you go above 5%, it's gonna cause problems for your account. So you can opt into automatic invoicing, but you can only do that once you've declared your VAT status. Now, before you can do that, you need to contact seller support. So to do that, I've got another video in module 10, and I recommend you guys watch this next. And this is called requesting VAT exemption and avoiding VAT on Amazon fees. I will also pop a link to that in the text below. And for those of you that aren't course members, I also have a free version of this video on YouTube. So if you wanna know how to declare your VAT exemption status so you don't get charged VAT on your Amazon fees and also how to activate your automatic business invoicing, I'm gonna pop up a video in front of me now and I'll see you guys over there.